Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Wikihow is where trusted research and expert knowledge come together. Learn why people trust Wikihow. Personal development. Maturity. Taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. PDF download download article. Discover the benefits of owning up to your actions. Written by Kirsten Parker, MFA edited by Hunter Rising. Last updated, the 24th of June, 2024 fact checked. What is taking responsibility? How to take responsibility? Why is it important? Expert interview. Do you want to feel like you're more in control of your life? Taking responsibility is when you stop blaming others for your choices and recognize you're in the driver's seat. Acknowledging your actions and keeping your promises are great ways to start accepting responsibility, and there are so many more ways. Whether you want to take accountability in your personal or professional life, keep reading for more helpful advice about how to be responsible for your actions and how it can improve your outlook on life. This article is based on an interview with our mindset and action coach, Kirsten Parker. Check out the full interview here. Things you should know. Taking responsibility means accepting and recognizing what part you played during a situation rather than shifting the blame. Take more responsibility for your actions by thinking through your feelings before reacting. Acknowledge your own actions so you can move forward. Benefits of taking responsibility include feeling less stressed, being more open in your relationships, and feeling more in control over your decisions. What does taking responsibility mean? PDF download download article 16. Taking responsibility means owning up to the consequences of your behavior. Taking responsibility means owning up to the consequences of your behavior. Rather than blaming another person or an outside force when there's a mistake or conflict, taking responsibility for your actions means looking for what part you had in the issue and moving forward from it. Instead of playing the victim or making an excuse, you take ownership over your choices and feelings, whether they are positive or negative. It's normal to slip up every now and then, so taking accountability doesn't mean never making a mistake. Instead, it means you're able to see what power you have over the situation to improve how you're feeling. 1. How to take responsibility for your actions. PDF download download article. 18. Step 1. Stay true to your word. Stay true to your word. When you say that you're going to do something and accept the responsibilities, follow through with your actions completely. Make a list of everything that you need to get done to fulfill your promise, and be sure to do it all so others can trust you with the responsibilities. 2. Example If you told a classmate that you were going to do half the work on a school project, be sure to divide the work evenly and complete your share on your own. Taking responsibility also makes it more likely that other people will treat you with the same respect and follow through with their responsibilities as well. 20. Step 2 Take a moment before reacting to negative situations. Take a moment before reacting to negative situations. When you're having a difficult time and your first reaction is to shift blame, Slow down and try doing breathing exercises, going for a quick walk, or reaching out to a friend to calm yourself. That way, you have a second to think through what you're actually accountable for and what was out of your control. Example, if you had an argument with a friend, excuse yourself and go somewhere private to regain your composure so you don't shift the blame. Remember that you're in control of your emotions and reactions. So try to stay positive and forward-thinking rather than dwelling on what just happened. 
22. Step 3. Acknowledge your own actions or mistakes. Acknowledge your own actions or mistakes. When you're making an apology or discussing an issue, focus on what you have done rather than making excuses. Even if you weren't fully responsible for what happened, own up and take accountability for the part you had in it. Recognize how your actions affected other people and empathize with them so they feel validated about their experience. 3. Example, if your partner feels hurt by something you said, you may take responsibility by saying, I'm sorry that I had a harsh tone and didn't think through my words carefully. I completely understand how what I said made you upset. 24. Step 4 Accept your negative emotions. Accept your negative emotions. After taking responsibility for your actions, it's completely normal to feel a little uncomfortable or ashamed of the impact you had. Rather than pushing negative thoughts aside or dwelling on them for a long time, Acknowledge how you're feeling without rushing to change your emotions. Sit with your thoughts, and try journaling or meditating so you're more aware of your feelings. 4. Example, if you missed an important deadline, let yourself be upset for a moment and reflect on what you can do differently in the future. Avoiding your negative emotions may prevent you from accepting full responsibility and also can make you feel more anxious about those feelings in the future. 5. 26. Step 5. Challenge your negative thoughts about others. Challenge your negative thoughts about others. Even if someone acts in a way that you're not happy with, you're still the one in control of your own thoughts and feelings. When you're upset or feel negatively towards someone, question if they really deserve the blame that you're assigning them. While you still can be frustrated or upset over some of the actions they are responsible for, ask yourself if your feelings are true and if you're being fair to their situation. 6. Example, if you planned a date and your partner is running late, it's okay to be a little frustrated about their punctuality. However, Try to challenge and move past negative thoughts like, they are never reliable or, they don't care enough about me. 28. Step 6. Prioritize self-care and compassion. Prioritize self-care and compassion. Take a second to figure out what you need in the moment to calm yourself down and feel better about your actions. Try to avoid judging yourself and practice self-compassion instead. Maybe you just need to take a short walk to collect your touts, go on a small break from work, or plan a relaxing evening to soothe the negative feelings you're holding on to. 7. Try doing a comforting activity that you know will put you in a better mood. Cook yourself a meal, put on your favorite movie, or take a warm bath to feel more content with yourself. Set goals for yourself that you can work toward to continue your focus on self-improvement and making positive life changes. Why is it important to take responsibility? PDF Download Download Article 30. Step 1 It makes you feel less stressed. It makes you feel less stressed. When you admit to your mistakes and take responsibility for your actions, you feel good because you can start making changes for the better. Holding on to your negative feelings and dwelling on your mistakes can make you more stressed because they start feeling like a fundamental part of who you are. Just owning up to what you're responsible for can take a major weight off your shoulders. 8. 31. Step 2 It gives you a better sense of agency in your life. It gives you a better sense of agency in your life. Even when you're accepting responsibility for a mistake or negative behavior, you'll recognize that you may not always have control over everything that happens, but you can control how you react in response. 9. You will be more aware of your thoughts and actions, so you will feel like you're able to make better, more informed decisions going forward. 32. Step 3 It helps you become more solution-oriented. 
it helps you become more solution oriented. When you take full ownership of your actions, you get a better perspective on problems and can quickly work toward new ways of solving them. Rather than blaming someone else or feeling stuck waiting for them, taking responsibility makes you focus your full attention on an issue so you get the results you want. 10. Example, when you take responsibility for a missed deadline at work, you may look toward solutions like setting progress checkpoints or putting reminders in your calendar so it doesn't happen again in the future. 34. Step 4 It improves your relationship with others. It improves your relationship with others. When you recognize where you've made mistakes and how your actions affect others, you're more open to discussions and will act more accountable in your relationship. Because you're not blaming the other person for issues between you, you will be able to build a stronger connection where you work together to solve problems. 11. Expert Q&A Ask a question Submit Read a videos Submit a video tip Share a quick video tip and help bring articles to life with your friendly advice. Your insights could make a real difference and help millions of people. Submit a video Tips Submit a tip all tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. You might also like. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be serious. How to. Be serious. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. Stop being immature. How to. Stop being immature. Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to. Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to. Be a responsible teen. Be emotionally independent. How to be an emotionally independent person. Accept blame when you deserve it. How to accept blame and take accountability with expert tips. Be tolerant of others. How to. Be tolerant of others. Become a stronger woman. How to. Become a stronger woman. Expert interview. A letter to a coach description automatically generated. Thanks for reading our article. If you'd like to learn more about responsibility, check out our in-depth interview with Kirsten Parker, MFA. References. 35 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash the couch forward slash 202201 forward slash why taking honest responsibility can make you happy. 36 https forward slash forward slash positive forward slash build trust forward slash 37 https forward slash forward slash www.apar.org forward slash news forward slash podcasts forward slash speaking of psychology forward slash apologize. 38 https forward slash forward slash www.scientificamerican.com forward slash article forward slash negative emotions key well being forward slash 39 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash insight therapy forward slash 201009 forward slash emotional acceptance why feeling bad is good. 40 https forward slash forward slash psychcentral.com forward slash blog forward slash we are responsible for our own feelings hash tips. 
41 https forward slash forward slash greatergood.barclay.edu forward slash article forward slash item forward slash y underscore is underscore self underscore compassion underscore so underscore hard underscore for underscore some underscore people. 42 https forward slash forward slash greatergood.barclay.edu forward slash article forward slash item forward slash y underscore some underscore people underscore own underscore mistakes underscore and underscore others underscore don't. 43 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash the couch forward slash 202201 forward slash why taking honest responsibility can make you happy. More references, too. About this article. Kirsten Parker, MFA. Written by Kirsten Parker. MFA. Mindset and Action Coach. This article was written by Kirsten Parker. MFA and by WikiHow staff writer, Hunter Rising. Kirsten Parker is a mindset and action coach based in her hometown of Los Angeles, California. She helps high achievers overcome stress and self-doubt. She specializes in increasing one's confidence and clarity by incorporating tools from positive psychology, mindful habit change, and self-regulation into her coaching. She is a certified heart math practitioner trained in stress, anxiety, and intelligent energy management along with emotional intelligence and the science of self-acceptance. She also holds an MFA from Yale University School of Drama in Stage Management. This article has been viewed 13,570 times. 6 votes, 73%. Co-authors, 5. Updated, 24 June, 2024. Views, 13,570. Categories, Maturity Print Send fan mail to authors Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 13,570 times. Did this article help you? Yes no. A screenshot of a website description automatically generated. Kirsten Parker, MFA Written by Kirsten Parker MFA. Mindset and Action Coach. 6 votes, 73%. Click a star to vote. Co-authors, 5. Updated, 24 June, 2024. Views, 13,570. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be serious. How to. Be serious. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Featured articles. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. How to. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. What celebrity do I look like quiz? What celebrity do I look like quiz? iOS 17 gestures, how to trigger reaction effects in FaceTime. iOS 17 gestures. How to Trigger Reaction Effects in FaceTime Angel number 1101, Meaning for Love, 
twin flames, manifestation and more. Angel number 1101, meaning for love, twin flames, manifestation and more. Detach from someone. How to. Detach from someone. Achieve your full potential. How to. Achieve your full potential. Trending articles. Reading women's body language, signs and signals that she's flirting. Reading women's body language, signs and signals that she's flirting. The ultimate guide to self-cleaning litter boxes, including how to choose one for your cat. The ultimate guide to self-cleaning litter boxes, including how to choose one for your cat. Sign a cool signature. How to. Sign a cool signature. Find your lucky numbers in numerology. How to. Find your lucky numbers in numerology. Three simple ways to locate your lost dead airpods. Three simple ways to locate your lost dead airpods. Pump your own gas. How to. Pump your own gas. Featured articles. Write a diary. How to. Write a diary. Play mahjong. How to. Play mahjong. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Respond to a heart emoji. How to. Respond to a heart emoji. Wikihow. Categories. Education and communications. Personal development. Maturity. Wikihow newsletter. Helpful how-tos delivered to. Your inbox every week. Sign me up. By signing up you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of form. Bottom of form. Home. About WikiHow. Experts. Jobs. Contact us. Site map. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Contribute. WikiHow Tech Help Pro. Develop the tech skills you need for work and life. Let's do this. X. Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission, to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to WikiHow. Let's do this. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Personal development. Maturity. How to stop being immature. PDF download download article. Parts. 1. Acting more mature around others. 2. Having a mature approach to school and work. 3. Developing mature grooming and dressing habits. Other sections. Video WATCH now. Related articles. References. Co-authored by Tammy Clater. Last updated, the 18th of February, 2024. Fact checked. Immaturity can prevent you from becoming your full adult self. Fortunately. You can take steps to grow up and grow out of childish behavior. In fact, becoming more mature can help you improve your professional life and lead to a more fulfilling personal life. To stop being immature, you will need to focus on developing more mature grooming and dressing habits, having a more mature approach to school and work, and acting more mature around others. Part 1 
Acting more mature around others. PDF Download Download Article 69 Step 1 Practice Active Listening 1. Practice Active Listening Show others you can be mature by being active when you have conversations or discussions. Active listening means viewing every conversation as a way to get to know someone better or learn something new. When you are actively listening, the speaker can tell you are engaged in what they are saying and able to respond with energy and sincerity. 1. You can practice active listening with a sympathetic friend. Have the friend talk to you about her day and maintain your focus fully on her. Listen to her without interruption, while nodding and making eye contact to show you are engaged. Once she is finished speaking, repeat what she said to you in your own words. You can begin with, what I hear you saying is, or I think you mean. If she agrees that you have understood what she said, you can respond to her and offer advice or a comment. This will show that you can have mature conversations and practice active listening. 71. Step 2 Show support and concern for friends and partners. 2. Show support and concern for friends and partners. A big part of being mature is sympathizing with the needs of others and showing concern for others. Be open about your support and concern for friends, family, partners, and even strangers. This will show that you can think beyond your needs and be aware of what others around you might need. 2. Ask friends how they are feeling or how they are doing and show them you support them by participating in things that are important to them. This could be showing up for a friend's rec game or a friend's play, or participating in a charity drive organized by family and friends. 73. Step 3 Demonstrate good manners toward others. 3. Demonstrate good manners toward others. Being polite towards others will show that you can be mature and carry yourself with respect. Open doors for others, say please, thank you and you're welcome, and say excuse me as you pass someone. For example, you might hold the elevator open for someone even if you're in a hurry. 3. Good manners also means helping someone if it is obvious they need a hand, such as an elderly person trying to cross the street, or stopping to talk to someone in need, like a homeless person on the street. Having good manners and showing them to others will be a good indicator that you are mature enough to consider others and care about the well-being of those around you. 75. Step 4 Act responsibly and maturely in your romantic relationship. 4. Act responsibly and maturely in your romantic relationship. If you are struggling with maturity in your relationships with a boyfriend, girlfriend, or partner, you should think about how you can demonstrate commitment and accountability to your partner. This could be making sure you arrive on time for every date and that you make an effort to remember all important dates or milestones in your relationship. Acting responsibly in your relationship will show your partner that you take the relationship seriously and are trying to be a mature adult. 4. You should also make sure you follow through on any commitments made to your partner, such as following through on a planned trip or date or following through on a promise to give up a bad habit like drinking or smoking. This will demonstrate you are willing to be accountable to your promises and act maturely in your interactions with your partner. 77. Step 5 Adjust your maturity level based on the situation. 5. Adjust your maturity level based on the situation. While it may seem like being a mature individual can be a pretty tall order, with a commitment to being supportive, responsible, and a good listener to everyone around you, you can also adjust your maturity level based on the situation you are in. If you are around your family, for example, you may demonstrate a different maturity level than if you are around your close friends. Try to adjust your maturity level so it suits the situation and the company you are in at that time. 
This will allow you to show the necessary level of maturity and still have a good time or have fun around others. Part 2. Having a mature approach to school and work. PDF download download article. 79. Step 1. Show up early for meetings and important events. 1. Show up early for meetings and important events. Let your co-workers and clients know you value their time by showing up 5 to 10 minutes early for all meetings and important events at work. This will demonstrate your maturity as an adult in the workplace, as you are willing to put other people's time above your own. Being late for a meeting or barging in during a client call is the definition of being unprofessional and immature. 5. You should also try to show up early for all classes and school-related meetings, as this will demonstrate to your peers that you can be responsible for yourself and for arriving early or on time. Try to be early or on time for even seemingly casual or unimportant meetings with peers, as your peers will take it as a sign of your maturity and tact. 81. Step 2 Come prepared for class or work. 2. Come prepared for class or work. Show up to work or to class ready to go, with all the necessary supplies and notes. For class, this may mean having a notebook, pen, textbook, and highlighter ready. For work, this may mean being prepared with pen, paper, client-related notes or information, and your work phone. 6. Coming to class and work prepared will show your teachers and superiors that you take your role very seriously and are willing to do the hard work necessary to succeed. This will also project an air of confidence and self-respect as you are able to be accountable to the expectations of your role as a student and an employee. 83. Step 3 Treat co-workers and peers with respect. 3. Treat co-workers and peers with respect. Demonstrate maturity in your interactions with others by having good manners and a respectful nature. This could be as simple as holding open the door for others, helping someone with a heavy package or a heavy load, or acknowledging everyone with a good morning or hello. Be considerate of the feelings and needs of others, with an awareness of how to be helpful and useful to your friends, peers and co-workers. 7. You should also always knock on doors before you enter a room, meeting space, or office, and say excuse me if you are interrupting a client call or a meeting. This will demonstrate that you can be respectful of other people's needs and time. 85. Step 4. Demonstrate appreciation for the hard work of others. 4. Demonstrate appreciation for the hard work of others. Let others around you know how much you appreciate their hard work and dedication, as this will show you can take a mature approach to the workplace and the classroom. If you see a co-worker doing a great job on an account, pull them aside and say, great job on that, I really appreciate your hard work. If you notice a peer helping a student struggling with a math problem, let them know you think it was cool of them to offer some guidance and mentoring. 8. You can also take on the role of a mentor or guide to others as a way to demonstrate maturity to others. Look for any peers who are struggling with their work or co-workers who may need a hand on a project and offer any guidance or assistance. This will allow you to be a role model for others and show how mature you can be. 87. Step 5 Accept Constructive Criticism and Feedback 5. Accept Constructive Criticism and Feedback One of the most challenging parts of being mature is being willing to accept criticism and feedback. An immature response to criticism would be anger, resentment, or denial. A more mature response would be to say thank you to the person who is offering criticism and consider what the person has to say. This will show that you have enough confidence and maturity to respect the opinions of others and to listen to their feedback. 9. Part 3. 
developing mature grooming and dressing habits. PDF Download Download Article 88 Step 1 Practice Good Hygiene 1. Practice Good Hygiene Present yourself to others in a mature way by appearing well-groomed and well put together. This means making sure your body and face are clean, your teeth have been brushed and flossed, and you are wearing deodorant so you smell fresh. You should always shower once a day and take time in the morning to look presentable before you step out into the world. 10. You should also take some time to do your hair by ensuring it is brushed and looks clean. Use styling gel and styling tools to tame your hair so it complements your overall look. Being mature about your appearance will show others that you care about how you look and want to be taken seriously. 90. Step 2 Dress Appropriately for 2. Dress Appropriately for Work if you turn up to work in a crumpled t-shirt, ripped jeans, and flip-flops, you may appear immature or inappropriate to your co-workers and your clients. Present a business professional look by dressing appropriately for your workplace to give off an air of maturity. For men, this may mean a full, tailored suit with a clean pressed dress shirt, tie, and leather shoes. If you work in a less formal environment, you should still show up to work in a clean shirt, clean pants, and comfortable, clean shoes. Men should also never wear hats indoors. 11. For women, this may mean a clean, pressed blouse with a pencil skirt or dress pants, and low leather heels. If you work in a less formal environment, you should still present yourself professionally, with clean clothing and clean, comfortable shoes. 92. Step 3 Wear Age Appropriate 3. Wear Age Appropriate Clothing for a Night Out While you may want to rock booty shorts, tube tops, or tight flashy pants for club nights out, this may come across as immature if you are no longer of a younger age. Dressing your age for a night out will demonstrate that you can present yourself in a mature manner and likely draw in individuals who are also mature and age appropriate. Even if you are younger in age, you may want to show less skin and adopt a mature look to appear put together but also sexy. Always wear clothes that fit properly, and make sure your garments aren't wrinkled or stained. 12. Men should wear clean pressed pants or jeans, and a clean collared shirt. Put on cologne and nice jewelry like a watch or a chain to add a touch of class to your look. Women should wear a form-fitting dress or clean, pressed top and dress pants with heels or comfortable dressy shoes. Apply some perfume and makeup as well as tasteful jewelry to demonstrate your mature, put-together look. Expert Q&A Ask a question. Submit. Video. Tips. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. You might also like. Get rid of an immature reputation. How to. Get rid of an immature reputation. Deal with an overly immature person. How to deal with immature people. Be mature in middle school. How to Be mature in middle school. Look older as a teen. How to Look older as a teen. Be mature. How to Be mature. Be responsible. How to Be responsible. Be serious. How to Be serious. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions how to do it and why it's important.
Act more mature in daily surroundings. How to Act more mature in daily surroundings. Be a responsible teen. How to Be a responsible teen. References 94 https forward slash forward slash gear dot barclay dot edu forward slash practice forward slash active underscore listening 95 https forward slash forward slash www dot ny times dot com forward slash guides forward slash smarter living forward slash how to be a better friend 96 tammy clater etiquette coach expert interview the 29th of September 2020 97 https forward slash forward slash www.helpguide.org forward slash articles forward slash relationships communication forward slash relationship help dot htm 98 https forward slash forward slash www.northeastern.edu forward slash graduate forward slash blog forward slash workplace etiquette forward slash 99 https forward slash forward slash www.mindtools.com forward slash pages forward slash article forward slash new cdv underscore 82.htm 100 https forward slash forward slash www.northeastern.edu forward slash graduate forward slash blog forward slash workplace etiquette forward slash 101 https forward slash forward slash hbr.org forward slash 2020 forward slash 01 forward slash the little things that make employees feel appreciated 102 https forward slash forward slash www.mindtools.com forward slash pages forward slash article forward slash new cdv underscore 82.htm More references, 3. About this article. Tammy Clater. Co-authored by. Tammy Clater. Behavior Coach. This article was co-authored by Tammy Clater. Tammy Clater is an etiquette coach, image consultant, and the owner of Always Appropriate Image and Etiquette Consulting in New York, New York. With over 20 years of experience, Tammy specializes in teaching etiquette classes to individuals, students, companies, and community organizations. Tammy has spent decades studying cultures through her extensive travels across five continents and has created cultural diversity workshops to promote social justice and cross-cultural awareness. She holds a BA in economics with a concentration in international relations from Clark University. Tammy studied at the Ophelia DeVore School of Charm and the Fashion Institute of Technology where she earned her image consultant certification. This article has been viewed 299,342 times. 3 votes, 100%. Co-authors, 16. Updated, the 18th of February, 2024. Views, 299,342. Categories, Maturity In other languages Spanish Italian Russian Portuguese German Indonesian French Print Send fan mail to authors Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 299,342 times did this article help you? Yes no. Tammy Clater. Co-authored by. Tammy Clater. Behavior Coach. Co-authors 16. Updated February 18, 2024. Views, 299,342. 100% of readers found this article helpful. 3 votes, 100%. Click a star to add your vote. 
Pravin Mishra Pravin Mishra The 11th of May, 2016 I liked the idea of being responsible and taking care of everyone around you. Also, the idea of adjusting your more share yours, more success stories quizzes Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz Am I a good kisser quiz? Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz Riz game, test your riz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. Get rid of an immature reputation. How to Get rid of an immature reputation. Deal with an overly immature person. How to deal with immature people. Be mature in middle school. How to Be mature in middle school. Look older as a teen. How to Look older as a teen. Featured articles. Protect yourself from predators. For kids. How to protect yourself from predators, for kids. Detach from someone. How to detach from someone. Achieve your full potential. How to achieve your full potential. Write a diary. How to write a diary. Play mahjong. How to play mahjong. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. Trending articles. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Best excuses to use to explain away a hickey. Am I smart quiz? Am I smart quiz? Seven easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. 7 easy ways to know if someone is online on Snapchat. Be cat-like. How to. Be cat-like. How to effectively crack your back. How to effectively crack your back. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. How to turn a voice memo into an MP3, iPhone, Mac, Windows. Featured articles. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Respond to a heart emoji. How to respond to a heart emoji. Make a glitter bomb. How to make a glitter bomb. Fold clothes. How to fold clothes. Develop productive habits. How to develop productive habits. Featured articles. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. Make cloud slime. How to make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. How happy am my quiz? How happy am my quiz? Whiten teeth with baking soda. How to whiten teeth with baking soda? What does angel number 1111 mean? What does angel number 1111 mean? Watch articles. Clean the bottom of an oven. How to clean the bottom of an oven. Prepare lemon tea. How to prepare lemon tea. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. How to cook a delicious omelette, a step-by-step -step guide. Straighten your hair. 
How to straighten your hair. Clean flip flops. How to clean flip flops. Close a bag of chips by folding it. How to close a bag of chips by folding it. Wikihow categories. Education and communications. Personal development. Maturity. Wikihow newsletter. Helpful how to's delivered to your inbox every week. Sign me up. By signing up, you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of form. Bottom of form. Home. About Wikihow. Experts. Jobs. Contact us. Site map. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Contribute. Get all the best how to's. Sign up for Wikihow's weekly email newsletter. Subscribe. X. Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to Wikihow. Let's do this. Top of form. Bottom of form. Pro. Quizzes. Edit. Explore. Login. Random. Skip to content. Wikihow is where trusted research and expert knowledge come together. Learn why people trust Wikihow. Maturity. Transition to adulthood. How to act more mature in daily surroundings. PDF download download article. Methods. 1. Practicing emotional maturity. 2. Taking mature actions. 3. Communicating like an adult. Other sections. Expert Q&A. Tips and warnings. Related articles. References. Co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA and Hunter Rising. Last updated, the 5th of September, 2022 Fact Checked. Acting mature is an important aspect of growing up since it allows you to gain more respect from other people and develops your independence. If you want to feel more responsible and mature, there are easy things you can incorporate into your daily life no matter your age. Having a mature mindset can help you control your emotions and open you up to new experiences. As you go throughout your day. Try to reach goals and work independently so you don't have to rely on others. When you talk to someone, think before you speak and listen well to help you seem more mature. Keep practicing maturity each day and other people will take you more seriously. Method 1. Practicing Emotional Maturity PDF Download Download Article 128 Step 1. Think through your 1. Think through your decisions so you don't act impulsively. Whenever you're given multiple choices, take a moment to consider each of the options. Make a mental list of the pros and cons of each choice and think about what you're trying to achieve from your decision. Consider all of the actions you can take rather than settling for one that's easier. Once you think over all of the choices you can make, choose the one that's most beneficial to the end goal you want to reach. 1. If you aren't sure what option to choose, ask someone that you trust to see if they can offer any advice. It's okay to make spontaneous decisions every so often, such as hanging out with friends when they ask you if you aren't busy or eating at a restaurant instead of cooking a meal. Be firm in your decisions so you seem more reliable and don't fall victim to peer pressure. 130. Step 2. Work on controlling. 2. Work on controlling your anger or frustration so you don't act out. 
When you feel angry or frustrated, try taking a few deep breaths to calm yourself down so you don't yell or get argumentative. If you need to get some space, try walking away for a few minutes to clear your head and look at the situation with fresh eyes. When you need to address someone or something that makes you angry, talk through what you're feeling without raising your voice. 2. Realize that it's okay to feel angry or frustrated, but it's not okay to act out because of it. State your feelings rather than bottling them up and keeping them to yourself. Tip, try writing down your feelings in a journal to work through them more. Include what made you angry, how you reacted, and how you felt afterward. 132. 3. Take responsibility for your actions if you make a mistake. Don't let other people take the blame for your actions. If you did something wrong or made a mistake, tell the people it affected and apologize sincerely for your actions. 3. Ask the people for forgiveness and see if there's anything you can do to fix the problem. While there may still be consequences, other people will view you as trustworthy and mature. 4. For example, you could say, I'm sorry that I knocked over and broke your vase. Will you please forgive me? Would you like me to buy you a replacement? Avoid lying to other people since people won't be able to trust you as easily. 134. 4. Stay positive and optimistic to help you through hard times. Rather than focusing on the bad or negative qualities of something, try to focus on the positive aspects. Reframe bad experiences you've had to think about what you've learned from it and what you can apply it in the future. If you have trouble staying positive, try making a list of things that make you happy or events you're looking forward to so you can cheer up. 5. For example, if you fail a test, you may be upset because you didn't do well. Instead, focus on what you can do to improve your score on the next, such as studying more or reading things more carefully. Having a negative attitude can make other people think you're immature and not want to spend time with you. Failure is a regular part of life, so it's okay for it to happen every so often. 136. 5. Keep an open mind so you don't judge others. If someone says something you disagree with or are confused by, ask questions about it rather than judging them for their choices. Try to see things from their point of view so you can get a better understanding of them. In addition to that, push yourself to do things that are out of your comfort zone so you can experience new things and learn about new things. 6. Learning new skills or picking up a new hobby can help you broaden your horizons even more. Do things that are out of your comfort zone so you can learn and grow more mature. Try to surround yourself with people who have different backgrounds and viewpoints. 138. 6. Act humble so you don't seem jealous of other people. Avoid trying to one-up other people or showing off since it can make you seem self-centered. Keep any jealous feelings you have to yourself rather than vocalizing them. Try to recognize things that you have or have earned so you can feel more proud about yourself and what you've accomplished. 7. Don't try to actively seek attention since it can make it look like you're trying too hard to be mature. Method 2. Taking Mature Actions PDF Download Download Article 140 1. Persevere through challenging tasks to see them to completion. Don't give up on something that you've already started since it may seem like you're unreliable. Instead, break up the task into smaller, more manageable goals so it doesn't seem as intimidating. Work hard towards finishing the task to the best of your ability without rushing through any steps. Take time to do a high-quality job so it looks like you're more responsible and able to complete difficult tasks. 8. 
For example, if you have a big project due in two weeks, work on it for a little while each day rather than trying to rush it right before the due date. It's okay to ask for help or assistance if you feel overwhelmed or don't know what steps to take next. 142. Step 2. Try to do things by yourself without asking others to do them for you. 2. Try to do things by yourself without asking others to do them for you. Don't push your responsibilities onto someone else since it could make you seem like you're trying to avoid work. Write a list of things that you need to get done and do your best to work through them on your own. Start working through your list as soon as you can so you don't feel rushed trying to complete them later on. Make time to do each of the tasks so you can complete them with the highest quality. 9. It's alright to ask someone for help if you don't know how to do something or you physically can't do it on your own. Don't have the other person do the work for you, but ask them to teach you so you can do it on your own the next time. Don't take advantage of people that offer to do things for you. 144. Step 3. Develop smart goals. 3. Develop smart goals for yourself to build your self-esteem. Choose goals that are smart, or specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound, so you can feel like you've accomplished something when you complete them. 10. Give yourself an end goal that you can easily track and finish in a certain amount of time. Track the progress of your goals using a journal or calendar so you can see what you need to complete in order to reach them. 11. For example, avoid setting a vague goal like, lose weight. Instead, write your goal like, lose 5 pounds in 3 weeks. That way, you can easily track how close you are to completion. You can set long-term goals as well as short-term goals so you're always striving towards something. Warning, don't choose goals that are too difficult for you to complete. For example, rather than setting a goal to get straight as in all of your classes, try to set a goal to get as in 2-3 classes so it's more manageable. 146. Step 4. Assist other people to show that you care about them. 4. Assist other people to show that you care about them. Helping other people can make you seem more selfless and caring, which will allow people to take you more seriously. Rather than only thinking about yourself, put yourself in other people's perspectives so you can get a better understanding of their needs. Ask if there's anything you can do to help, or do random acts of kindness such as opening the door for someone or doing a chore without being asked. 12. Don't help other people just to make yourself seem better since it may come across as insincere. Show genuine interest in the person and the task they want to complete. 148. Step 5. Be willing to make sacrifices to seem more compassionate. 5. Be willing to make sacrifices to seem more compassionate. Try doing things that you don't normally want to do just to help other people out. Avoid doing things just because it will make you look better or more mature, but do them because you want to help out. Start practicing by giving up one thing that you want to do each week so you can join someone else for what they'd like to do. 13. For example, you can give up playing video games on a weekend so you can spend time with your family. 150. Step 6. Recognize some things are out of your control. 6. Recognize some things are out of your control. You won't always be able to get what you want and sometimes, bad things will happen that you can't change. Accept the circumstances of what's happening and do your best not to let it affect you negatively. Try to look for the positive aspects of the situation so you can learn from it and apply it to your life going forward. 14. For example, if someone runs into your vehicle, don't focus as much on the damage. Instead, 
be glad that you or nobody else got hurt. As another example, if your family moves to a different city, look forward to the new friends that you can make and places you can visit. Method 3. Communicating like an adult. PDF Download Download Article 152 1. Take time before you speak to think about what you want to say. Before you respond to someone, take a moment to consider what message and tone you're trying to convey and choose your words so they match your overall intentions. Pause between words if you don't know what to say rather than using filler words, such as like or um. Try to be as succinct as you can so you don't come across as unclear. 15. Avoid blurting things out as soon as you think of them since it can seem immature and impulsive. Avoid gossiping or bad-mouthing others since it will make people less likely to trust you. If you don't know how to respond to something right away, ask the other person if you can have time to think over a decision so you can weigh your options. 154. 2. Don't complain about things frequently. While it's okay to complain about genuine problems, avoid being overly negative or trying to find something to complain about. Be happy about the things that you do have and the positive aspects that come from them. Practice being grateful by thanking people and letting them know that you care about them. 16. For example, rather than complaining about a meal that you don't particularly like to eat, be grateful that you have food to eat. It's okay if you disagree with people and make minor complaints from time to time. 156. 3. Listen to other people actively to show you're respectful to others. Maintain eye contact with the person that's talking to you and not every so often to show you're paying attention. 17. Try to mimic the speaker's body language, such as leaning in closer or copying their posture, to connect with them more. When it's your turn to respond, take a moment to process their words and repeat some of the things they said so they know you were listening. 18. Don't cut off the other person while they're talking. Tip, try to avoid looking away at your phone or other distractions since the person may think that you don't care about what they have to say. 158. 4. Speak up for yourself when someone puts you down. If another person says something that you take offense to or disagree with, defend yourself and state how it makes you feel. Don't yell or try getting into an argument, but let the other person know why you're upset in a calm tone so they can take you more seriously. If the person doesn't continue the conversation in a civil way, walk away so you don't lash out or get into trouble with them. 19. For example, if someone bullies you about what you're wearing, you may say, I don't appreciate you making fun of me. I really like this outfit and that's all that matters. Be confident when you talk to help others know that you're being serious with them. 160. 5. Avoid being argumentative or negative toward other people. If you disagree with someone, ask them questions rather than raising your voice or having a negative tone. Try to apply what they said to their point of view so you get a better understanding of where they are coming from. Stay open-minded and non-judgmental as best as you can so you don't seem rude or uncaring for them. 20. It's okay to have disagreements with people since you won't always see eye to eye with them. Just avoid responding in an angry or hostile way. 162. 6. Thank people when they give or offer you something to express gratitude. Being gracious lets people know that you care about and appreciate them for their actions. If someone takes the time to do something for you, be sure to thank them in a genuine way so you don't seem insincere. 21. Avoid complaining about things if they don't go the way you expect them and instead look at the positive aspects. 
For example, if someone gives you a gift that you didn't want, you should still say something like, thank you so much for the gift. You can also thank people for everyday situations. For example, if you're running late, you can say, thank you for being patient with me. 164. 7. Ask for feedback or criticism to show you're looking for improvement. Mature people are always trying to learn and grow, so reach out to someone you trust to get their advice. Explain what you want for feedback so the other person knows what to look for or comment on. Listen thoughtfully to the feedback without responding at first so you can take in what they're saying. Consider all of the points that they've made and apply what you can to your life. 22. You don't need to apply all of the feedback if you disagree with some of it, but take time to see if it fits with what you're trying to improve. Expert Q&A Question How do I stop acting immature and childish? Kirsten Parker, MFA Kirsten Parker, MFA Mindset and Action Coach Expert Answer Start taking responsibility for your actions rather than blaming other people when things go wrong. Not helpful for helpful 26. Ask a question. Submit. Tips. Acting mature doesn't have to be boring. Make sure you still set aside time to have fun and goof around as long as you do it responsibly. Don't get too caught up in acting mature. It's okay to act your age. Remember to enjoy your childhood, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If you really want to seem mature, change your behavior gradually. Making obvious changes quickly makes it look like you are trying too hard. Tips from our readers. Don't trust others too easily so that your life becomes an open book. Maintain a little mystery and wait to share personal information until you fully trust someone. Find ways to make your household more peaceful. Organize your room to relieve stress and give yourself 20 to 30 minutes of alone time each day. If someone makes you mad, avoid fighting them. Give them space until they're ready to have a proper conversation with you. Be patient with yourself and do not expect too much from other people. Submit a tip. All tip submissions are carefully reviewed before being published. Submit. A screenshot of a quiz description automatically generated. You might also like. Be mature. How to. Be mature. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be a mature teenager. Be responsible. How to. Be responsible. Be serious. How to. Be serious. Be a responsible student. How to. Be a responsible student. Blame shifting what is blame shifting. Plus, how to respond to it. Be proactive 17 ways to be more proactive in your everyday life. Responsibility taking taking responsibility for your actions, how to do it and why it's important. Stop being immature. How to. Stop being immature. Be a responsible teen. How to. Be a responsible teen. Be emotionally independent how to be an emotionally independent person. Accept blame when you deserve it how to accept blame and take accountability with expert tips. Be tolerant of others. How to. Be tolerant of others. Become a stronger woman. How to. Become a stronger woman. References. 174 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologicalshunts.org forward slash news forward slash were only human forward slash the teenage brain how do we measure maturity.html 
175 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash the human experience forward slash 201308 forward slash how become more adult and successful in your life. 176 Kirsten Parker, MFA Mindset and Action Coach Expert Interview The 22nd of July, 2020 177 https forward slash forward slash www.psychologitody.com forward slash us forward slash blog forward slash finding your voice forward slash 201311 forward slash accepting responsibility 178 https forward slash forward slash www.health.harvard.edu forward slash blog forward slash staying positive during difficult times 20201001210471 179 https forward slash forward slash or dot reach out dot com forward slash articles forward slash understanding a different culture 180 https forward slash forward slash greatergood.barclay.edu forward slash article forward slash item forward slash humility underscore will underscore make underscore you underscore greatest underscore person underscore ever. 181 https forward slash forward slash saz.uaa.r.edu forward slash husky experience forward slash know yourself forward slash how to persevere forward slash 182 https forward slash forward slash inspiring tips.com forward slash tips to be more mature and responsible forward slash more references 13 about this article. Kirsten Parker, MFA. Co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA. Mindset and Action Coach. This article was co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA and by WikiHow staff writer, Hunter Rising. Kirsten Parker is a mindset and action coach based in her hometown of Los Angeles, California. She helps high achievers overcome stress and self-doubt. She specializes in increasing one's confidence and clarity by incorporating tools from positive psychology, mindful habit change, and self-regulation into her coaching. She is a certified heart math practitioner trained in stress, anxiety, and intelligent energy management along with emotional intelligence and the science of self-acceptance. She also holds an MFA from Yale University School of Drama in Stage Management. This article has been viewed 407,548 times. 54 votes, 96%. Co-authors, 21. Updated, 5 September, 2022. Views. 407,548 Categories, Maturity Transition to Adulthood In other languages Italian Russian French Indonesian Print Send fan mail to authors Thanks to all authors for creating a page that has been read 407,548 times. Did this article help you? Yes no. A white background with black text description automatically generated. Kirsten Parker, MFA. Co-authored by Kirsten Parker, MFA. Mindset and Action Coach. Co-authors 21. Updated September 5, 2022. Views, 407,548. 96% of readers found this article helpful. 54 votes, 96%. Click a star to add your vote. Rhonda Harris. Rhonda Harris. The 5th of April, 2017. For a long time, 
people have been saying I need to grow up. I always like to have fun and play around, but now that more rated this article. Share yours, more success stories. Quizzes. Do I have a dirty mind quiz? Take quiz. Am I a good kisser quiz? Take quiz. Riz game, test your riz. Take quiz. What's your red flag quiz? Take quiz. Am I smart quiz? Take quiz. How insecure am I quiz? Take quiz. You might also like. How to. Be mature. How to. Be a mature teenager. How to. Be responsible. How to. Be serious. Featured articles. How to. Protect yourself from predators, for kids. What celebrity do I look like quiz? iOS 17 gestures, how to trigger reaction effects in FaceTime. Angel number 1101, meaning for love, twin flames, manifestation and more. How to. Detach from someone. How to. Achieve your full potential. Trending articles. Reading women's body language, signs and signals that she's flirting. Reading women's body language, signs and signals that she's flirting. The ultimate guide to self-cleaning litter boxes, including how to choose one for your cat. The ultimate guide to self-cleaning litter boxes, including how to choose one for your cat. Sign a cool signature. How to. Sign a cool signature. Find your lucky numbers in numerology. How to. Find your lucky numbers in numerology. Three simple ways to locate your lost dead airpods. Three simple ways to locate your lost dead airpods. Pump your own gas. How to. Pump your own gas. Featured articles. Write a diary. How to. Write a diary. Play mahjong. How to. Play mahjong. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. How to remove scratches from a phone screen. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. How to add an egg to ramen, tips for creating a flavorful meal. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Nine ways to cut your long hair at home. Respond to a heart emoji. How to. Respond to a heart emoji. Featured articles. How to. Make a glitter bomb. A collage of folded clothes description automatically generated. How to. Fold clothes. How to. Develop productive habits. How to send a good morning text and make someone feel special. How to. Make cloud slime. The easiest way to clean your room from top to bottom. Watch articles. How to. Wear a headband. How to. Clean out a mascara tube. How to. Color slime. How to. Peel a dragon fruit. How to. Make fake lip piercings. How to. Clean tea stains from cups. Trending articles. 60 plus meaningful ways to tell someone you miss them over text. How to solve a Rubik's Cube in 20 moves. How to write a job application letter, with examples. The 6 best exercises to build bigger arms. How to delete apps on Mac that won't delete, simple fixes. How to deal with feeling unheard, and why you feel that way. Quizzes. What Disney princess am I quiz? What Disney princess am I quiz? Take quiz. Do I have a phobia quiz? Do I have a phobia quiz? Take quiz. Guess my age quiz. Guess my age quiz. 
Take quiz. Am I a genius quiz? Am I a genius quiz? Take quiz. Depression test. Depression test. Take quiz. What human emotion am I quiz? What human emotion am I quiz? Take quiz. Wikihow. Categories. Education and communications. Personal development. Maturity. Transition to adulthood. Wikihow newsletter. Helpful how to's delivered to your inbox every week. Sign me up. By signing up, you are agreeing to receive emails according to our privacy policy. Top of form. Bottom of form. Home. About WikiHow. Experts. Jobs. Contact us. Site map. Terms of use. Privacy policy. Contribute. WikiHow Tech Help Pro. Develop the tech skills you need for work and life. Let's do this. X. Join us in our mission. For over a decade, we've been on a mission to help everyone in the world learn how to do anything. Today, we're asking that you join us. Any amount that you can contribute helps us to continue providing readers like you with trusted, accurate and up-to-date information. Please consider supporting our continued work with a contribution to WikiHow. Let's do this. Personal Development Maturity How to be an emotionally independent person PDF Download Download Article Expert Tips to Help You Overcome Emotional Dependence Co-authored by Jennifer Gutman, PSYD and Sophie Burkholder, BA Last updated, the 4th of July, 2024 Fact Checked Developing Emotional Independence What is Emotional Independence? Causes of Emotional Dependence Video Expert Q&A Tips Being emotionally independent and resilient is an integral part of being happy. Fortunately, by accepting ourselves, modifying our thinking, and taking active strides to be true to who we are and how we feel, we can find that inner sense of peace and independence we've been looking for. We interviewed clinical psychologists and life coaches to learn more about the journey towards self-esteem and emotional independence, which you can start with the first step below. Becoming Emotionally Independent Emotional independence means separating your emotions from the thoughts, opinions, and actions of other people. Become emotionally independent by accepting yourself as you are, owning your feelings and decisions, and not letting anyone else influence the way you feel about yourself or your life. How to achieve emotional independence PDF Download Download Article 209 Step 1. Practice Mindfulness 1. Practice Mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being aware of your surroundings and internal feelings without being overwhelmed by them. Practicing mindfulness can help you build emotional independence because you will be better able to control your reactions to the things around you. Try this beginner mindfulness exercise called the body scan. Take a moment to settle into a comfortable position where you feel relaxed but alert. Scan through your body, start at your toes and feet and gradually move up through the ankles, lower legs, knees, and thighs. Continue through your pelvis, hips, and lower torso. Slowly move up through your torso, rib cage, spine, shoulders, and shoulder blades. Move back down through your arms wrists, and hands. Finally, scan your neck, face, and skull, then hold the entire body in your awareness for a final moment. As you scan your body, notice and observe what you feel without judgment or a focus on right versus wrong. Take note of the physical sensations, areas of tension, and tissues that connect your body. 
211. Step 2. Identify how emotional independence benefits you. 2. Identify how emotional independence benefits you. Spend time reflecting on your values and long-term goals. Let your mind wander without judgment, and if it helps, record your thoughts and feelings in a journal. Becoming emotionally independent can help you be less reactive, less distracted, more proactive, and feel better about yourself. Thoughtfully consider or write responses to questions like Why is it important for you to become emotionally independent? What does it mean for you to be emotionally independent? How do you envision it will change your life? How does it make you feel when you have to depend on others or things outside of you to make you feel better about yourself? 213. Step 3. Reflect on why you may be struggling to be emotionally independent. 3. Reflect on why you may be struggling to be emotionally independent. Take some time to figure out if and why you might be having a hard time accepting yourself and making your own decisions. Try meditating, journaling, or just sitting in a quiet place for a while and thinking about your reasons for judging yourself. 1. Try to identify whose voice you are hearing when you judge or criticize yourself. For example, do you hear your parents, your partner, your friends, or someone else? Do you get jealous easily? Do you compare yourself to others so much that it can ruin your day? Do people often fail to meet your expectations? Who does this most often? When you're alone, do you seek out others to feel okay? Does a void spring up when you're not with others? Does your partner or the idea of a partner mean happiness to you? 215 Step 4. Confront your negative internal thoughts. 4. Confront your negative internal thoughts. Write down the thoughts and internally held beliefs that keep you emotionally dependent. For example, you may think, I need other people to like me so I can like myself. When these thoughts pop into your mind, replace them with something neutral like nobody is universally liked. I can feel okay with myself despite how others think of me. 2. Remember that happiness really does come from within. By changing your thinking over time, you can condition yourself to feel happier about your life. If you're struggling to find happiness during tough situations in life, clinical psychologist Kim Cronista recommends finding either a therapist or life coach. If you can't afford either, Read as your therapy. 3. Certain books about positive psychology says Chronista, can help you determine the ingredients for contentment and distressing for you as an individual. 4. 217. Step 5. Improve your self-esteem. 5. Improve your self-esteem. Increasing your self-love and self-compassion can help you rely on yourself for validation and support rather than constantly seeking it from others. Take care of yourself, do things you like, and spend time with people who genuinely make you happy. You may have to cut out people who try to manipulate your emotions and tear you down. 5. Practice self-compassion when you're feeling negative emotions. Say something like, it's okay to experience loneliness. There's nothing wrong with me for feeling sensitive about rejection. Self-compassion is a form of self-soothing that can help you be more self-reliant and emotionally independent. Similarly, learn to validate yourself and permit yourself to feel your feelings. This may sound like, my emotions make sense. I'm allowed to set boundaries. It's okay to feel how I'm feeling. If you're struggling to stop seeking validation or compassion from someone else, consider what you'd like that person to say and practice saying those words to yourself. 219. Step 6. Set boundaries around your needs and wants. 6. 
set boundaries around your needs and wants. Identify the things that are important to you and necessary to your well-being, and be vocal about the things that upset you. Say no to things that don't interest you, make you uncomfortable, or that you don't feel like doing. 6. If you've always relied on other people's opinions, for example, your friends may be accustomed to giving you unsolicited advice. If you're trying to become more emotionally independent, set clear boundaries with friends about what you need from them moving forward. Use I statements, like I appreciate your insight, but I'm trying to work on forming my own opinions right now. When it comes to setting boundaries around events and activities, however, there's a fine line. Should you skip your best friend's wedding because you don't feel like it? Probably not. Should you avoid the mandatory work meeting because you're feeling lazy? Nope. 221. Step 7. Practice letting go of other people's expectations. 7. Practice letting go of other people's expectations. Try to let go of the need to please or control other people. If you want to stop worrying about other people, life coach Rati Gorfin recommends noticing when you're doing it, then pausing and making a choice. And that choice is, where else do you want to put your attention? 7. It all starts with that pause, with stopping and choosing to focus on what you want more of in your life continues Gorfin. And this is a lifelong process. 8. According to Gorfine, simply realizing that you want to worry less about what other people think about you is a huge first step. If you don't realize that that's a waste of your time and energy, you can't change it. 9. Let go of your internal expectations as well. Rid your brain of shoulds and oughtos. If you feel behind other people or like you're not following a traditional path, so what? We all move at our own rhythm, and you can't be behind in your own life. 223. Step 8. Take responsibility for yourself. 8. Take responsibility for yourself. When we blame others, they're at fault. Therefore, they become the only ones who can fix the problem, which makes us emotionally independent of them. Take responsibility for whatever role you've played in the problems in your life. 10. This step toward emotional independence forces you to become reliant on yourself for a solution. Instead of wallowing in misery, you think about what options you have at your disposal to improve the situation. While you may not be responsible for everything that's happened to you in your life, you are responsible for responding to and making good choices in the more challenging moments. Paying attention to how you naturally respond and contribute to difficult situations can help you make changes regarding the choices you make. 225. Step 9. Make your own decisions. 9. Make your own decisions. Make decisions on your own without opinion. Shopping advises clinical psychologist Jennifer Gutman. 11. We often delegate decisions to others which undermines our confidence continues Gutman. 12. Making decisions builds confidence in showing yourself that many positive outcomes occur and that you also have the ability to cope with less than positive outcomes should they occur. 13. Remember that your choices are completely yours to make, whether they are about what you make for dinner tonight, whether you thought your bumble match was cute, or whether you should ask for a raise at your next review. The next time your friends are sitting around the table badmouthing the latest movie or even gossiping about a friend, instead of letting them shape your opinions, decide for yourself. How do you feel? Why should their opinions have any weight on yours? Try this in tiny ways, too. The next time you want to check out a cafe or a movie or a shop, etc., and you've heard pretty mediocre things, go anyway if that's what you want to do. When you have decided for yourself, work up to speaking out about it. 
it's possible other people feel similarly but are too shy to say anything. You may also bring up a good point that no one else considered. 227. Step 10 Learn to fix your own emotional problems. 10. Learn to fix your own emotional problems. You can't rely on others to meet all of your emotional needs, so the next time you're feeling down in the dumps, do something about it. Spend the night doing something you really enjoy, treat yourself to retail therapy, or just relax. When you're successful, this can show you that you have the power to make everything better, not other people. 14. Read a poll. We asked 348 Wikihow readers about living independently, and 65% of them agreed that the best way to seek help and information is by searching online or using search engines. Take poll. 229. Step 11 Take control over your emotions. 11. Take control over your emotions. The next time you get offended or have an emotional breakdown, reflect on why. Recognize when your emotions become out of control and if this is constantly happening with the same person or situation. 15. As natural as it is to become upset when someone says something that triggers you, you also have to maintain control over your emotions and reactions to others. Don't let someone else control your feelings. If that person is rude or unkind, why give them the satisfaction of caring? If you're consistently having strong emotional reactions to someone else's behavior, this person may have a negative or toxic presence in your life that needs to be addressed. 231. Step 12 Spend intentional time with yourself. 12. Spend intentional time with yourself. When was the last time you had some free time to kill and didn't whip out your phone or otherwise distract yourself? You're constantly bombarded with stimuli, which ultimately prevents introspection and getting to know yourself. Starting now, take 20 minutes or so a day for some me time. Who's better company than you, anyway? 16. Take yourself on solo dates, develop new interests and hobbies, and regularly spend time with your friends and family. During your time alone, reflect on all the things that make you you. What are your talents, interests, thoughts, opinions, values, beliefs? If you're in a relationship, make an effort to carve out alone time for yourself. Solo time will help you to remain independent in your relationship in a way that's healthy for you and your partner. 233. Step 13 Reframe your thoughts around past situations and people who've hurt you. 13. Reframe your thoughts around past situations and people who've hurt you. Instead of blaming an ex or parent for your pain or your emotional dependence, Reframe and try to forgive them. This person is only human and likely deserves compassion or, at the very least, pity. 17. Whatever the reason was that they did what they did, it likely came from a place of insecurity, trauma, or other personal issue that they were having. If this person did or said something that affected how you felt about yourself, Remember that you shouldn't base your self-worth on their opinions or actions. If you have or want to interact with that person again, clinical psychologist Nicole Barile contends that concentrating on that, hurtful, thought is not going to help you succeed in having an interaction with them. 18. 235. Step 14 Move on from people who have hurt you. 14. Move on from people who have hurt you. Forgiveness is an integral step in accepting yourself and reframing past hurt. When you stop holding grudges and taking things personally, you're left with an organic, untainted version of yourself, an emotionally independent and resilient you. And you will be happier, too. 19. The next time you catch yourself being upset with someone, 
realize that it has nothing to do with you. It's them making their own decisions, and you have no control over that, which is fine. That being said, this doesn't mean that some people should be let off the hook. Forgive them, forget the behavior, but modify your expectations. Was your friend an hour late to your lunch date? Noted. Next time, if there is a next time, you'll know how to handle it. Forgiving someone doesn't actually have to involve the other person. Rather, forgive them internally so you can move on and let go of the past. If you feel guilt or shame toward your own role in the situation that hurt you, work toward forgiving yourself, too. 237. Step 15 Get to know yourself through your closest relationships with loved ones. 15. Get to know yourself through your closest relationships with loved ones. Examine when you feel triggered around your family, friends, and significant others. How you relate and respond to your closest people can reveal a lot about your emotional dependence and how reactive you are to other people's opinions of you. 20. If you often feel negative about yourself after spending time with loved ones, you may be overly emotionally dependent on them. However, it's normal for the people in your life to affect you. The key is to strike a balance between emotional closeness and distance. Then, when you do feel triggered by someone close to you, you can self-regulate your emotions and temper your internal reactions. 239. Step 16 Hang out with different groups of people. 16. Hang out with different groups of people. When our entire lives revolve around a small group of people, it's hard not to think that their opinions couldn't move mountains. To widen your world and lessen the importance of one or two people's opinions, hang out with more people. Having a wide social network is good in fair and foul weather, too. 21. All humans have to attach themselves to things. It can stink because it means our emotions are at the whim of other people and other things. The key here is to not over-attach yourself. It's a fine line that only you can find. The best way to do this is to spread yourself among different people and divide your time accordingly. 241. Step 17 Do your own thing. 17. Do your own thing. You are your own person, and therefore, you're going to do your own thing, whatever that means. When you find who you are and stick to it, no one can stop that inner sense of happiness that'll prevail as a result. 22. People who genuinely stick to who they are are a rare breed. It shouldn't cause judgment, it should inspire. People will see that you are your own fountain of happiness and wish they were the same. While some won't be able to handle it, they're not the ones you want to be around anyway. What is emotional independence? PDF Download Download Article 243 Step 1 Emotional independence is the ability to manage your own emotions. Emotional independence is the ability to manage your own emotions. Being emotionally independent means being able to control one's reactions to potentially triggering situations. Also, emotionally independent people rely less on the opinions, expectations, and perceptions of others. 23. 244. Step 2 Emotional independence helps you heal and let go of negative habits. Emotional independence helps you heal and let go of negative habits. The primary purpose of emotional independence is to learn healthy techniques to move through life happily and successfully without the burden of unpleasant memories and traumas. Other benefits of practicing emotional independence include sad smiley 24. More self confidence. Decreased anxiety and depression. Less self criticism and guilt. Increased awareness of yourself. Increased self-worth. Improved sense of inner peace. 
What causes emotional dependence? PDF download download article 246 Emotional dependence is often caused by traumatic relationships. Emotional dependence is often caused by traumatic relationships. Most frequently, emotional dependence is developed during childhood based on the relationship between a child and their parent or caregiver. Often, parents may unintentionally perpetuate a child's need for emotional validation by overindulging the child or somehow contributing to their low self esteem. 25. Emotional dependence can also be caused later in life by a traumatic experience in which one person was heavily controlled or hurt by another. Sometimes, people are just emotionally dependent without any clear reason or cause. It is always possible to take steps toward healing past wounds and becoming more emotionally independent. Expert Q&A Question how can I be totally independent without needing anyone? Jennifer Gutman, PSYD Jennifer Gutman, PSYD Licensed Clinical Psychologist Expert Answer I think this might be a bit of a lofty goal. Human beings are naturally social, and we rely on friends and family for a lot of things. That said, if you do want to be more independent, start pushing yourself to make more decisions without the influence of other people. This is a great way to wrestle control away from other people. Not helpful zero helpful zero. Question. How can I become less mentally dependent on someone? Tasharub, LMSW. Tasharub, LMSW. Licensed Master Social Worker Expert Answer Start by asking yourself what areas in your life you feel you are emotionally dependent on other people. Then, ask yourself why you have felt the need to remain emotionally dependent on another person. Then, start by showing gratitude for yourself and the environment that you helped create. Realize that when you allow others to take control of your life, you are devaluing who you are as an individual. Set your intention to choose a life you wish to live and learn to love who you are. Not helpful too helpful 46. Question. How can I stop being so emotional around my friends? Tasharub, LMSW. Tasharub, LMSW. Licensed Master Social Worker. Expert Answer. Try to be more mindful and aware to the times you get increasingly emotional. What was happening at the time? What was being said or happening between you and your friends? Why is it bothering you that you are reacting with increased emotion? Recognize the things you are and are not able to change in your environment at the time, and try to take more control of the situation. Finally. Do not let others take control of how you feel if it is bothering you. Not helpful 1 helpful 22. Ask a question. Submit. Video. Tips. It's okay to slip up, it's unreasonable to expect anyone to be perfectly emotionally independent all the time. We're all human. Consider your mistakes and negative emotions as learning experiences. Avoid overcompensating on the quest for emotional independence. It's one thing to be emotionally independent, and it's another thing to be a jerk. Some people get so caught up in being true to themselves that they step all over others in an effort to assert themselves.